Day two of the Magic Million sale has come and gone, and the figure on everyone's lips was a stunning clearance rate that is one of the highest seen at the world-famous sale. 88.4% of the horses that stepped into the Magic Million sale ring found a new home, which was up 9% on day one. What a fantastic day at the office. 88% clearance cumulative over the last two days. That's just outstanding. Um, you'd have to say it's all but a perfect storm in as far as the, the vendors are, are meeting the market, the buyers are aggressively in the market. So uh, when you're selling nine out of 10 horses, that's a good horse sale. Things were at their hottest in the second half of the day when a host of lots cracked $300,000, including a colt by Exceed Nixell out of Dubai Dream who was bought by Eliza Park International for $400,000 to be trained by Gay Waterhouse. We see the pedigree is very good. Uh, we see him as a potential stallion. Uh, we, will, we, we hope it, it, his racing result will be good. Very excited. He's an extremely precocious horse. He's very fluid when he walks. Um, he's very nicely put together. Uh, Mr Kong from China uh, is a, an owner of mine. He had the horse that raced the other day, Fighting Sun, and won the other day. Uh, he's just excited by the sale. Why wouldn't he be? Now it's a very strong sale, but yet there's great value. The highlight of the first half of day two is this filly by Fastnet Rock out of Awesome Planet, which went to Paul Moroni for $400,000. Absolutely loved her. I thought she was probably the best filly in the sale uh, on pedigree and type. A lovely athlete. Uh, stood over ground. Whatever she looks like now, another 12 months is going to be a big, strong filly. And what have you made of the sale in general to this point? Oh, very strong. Mid market's very strong. Um, you know, there aren't the huge prices that they've been in the in the uh, in the past at the top end, but when you get an average that's up around the you know 140,000 after day one, as it was yesterday, that's a very very strong sale. Other top lots included $390,000 being paid for a fast net rock filly out of Black Minx while the day ended with Neville Parnham paying $315,000 for this exceeding Excel cult. So that's two days down at this year's Magic Million sale, but there's certain to be more activity tomorrow when the sale continues from 11am.